Well, hello YouTube. It's Tuesday Hubbard, and I want to share with you a scrapbook layout that I made of my friend Alex, and she is a total sweetheart, and I love to document the people that come in my life and bring me happiness, and she's definitely one of those people. She is um, young. She's 21, but she is super responsible and fun and sweet and you know I just get along with every age group <laughs> so um, we have a lot in common and do a ton of fun things together when we are given the chance and she's gonna move to Austin soon with her boyfriend so I want to make sure that I keep in touch with her and document how we became friends and that's what this layouts about I just took a uh, die cuts with a view gilded stack and that is the background and I took some distress stain in wild honey and kind of used it on a piece of acetate for a watercolor effect and then grabbed some vintage photo distress ink and splattered it around I'm also taking some Adirondack ink in the sandal and adding some little stars and that just adds some texture to the background I thought that that was appropriate I also do that um, stays on ink in the timber brown I do the little arrows and don't ask me why I put those down there I really don't know I just threw them down there <laughs> I wanted to use my stamps so I don't even know where my placement of everything's going to go, but I'm just kind of scattered like that, and it works for me. <laughs> I just wanted some of those arrows, little arrowheads. So all of that ink did kind of warp the page, so you see me try to straighten that out a bit. And here I'm also taking some of that die cuts with a view gilded stack, and I'm just going to back her picture with it and I think those frames are from Maggie Holmes Maggie Holmes collection I can't really remember let's see did I write it down mm, nope <laughs> doesn't look like it I have my mind's eye Market Street maybe that's where they're from <laughs> oh no that's the die cuts the ephemera packs I don't know anyway <laughs> I'm just going to layer here and kind of build up underneath that picture of Alex and I'll put that punch to use around the edge of a scrap of paper and I'll also end up doing that around the outside borders of the uh, background sheet and then I'll put that on a piece of craft so that it peeks through. And you'll see what I mean once we get to that. So kind of the same concept here with that Martha Stewart punch um, around the border. But I'm going to distress the edges. I add a hashtag you're the best from that stamp set from Heidi Swab. And I'll also put the um, So Loved frame on top of the picture. So you'll see me do that. I guess I'm letting the background uh, dry. I also get that My Mind's Eye ephemera pack and I'll use that large doily and I'm pulling some of the gold elements here. She had just gotten her hair highlighted and it was very blonde kind of a goldish yellow and so I use the gold accent pieces from that ephemera pack to help pull out the colors in her shirt and coordinate with her hair color yeah I'm kind of testing my distress stain here in the wild honey and I'm gonna go to town with all those die cuts that you see those are Wilna Furstenberg die cuts and I'm just gonna get messy and play <laughs> I go nuts I'm like, let's just have fun with it. <laughs> so I put it on everything. I'm soaking up the excess. 
no rhyme or reason. And I do use one of those smile and shine words, but I'll do them completely covered. And you'll see me put that frame that says beauty that's a Wilna cut. I'll put that at the bottom of the page. And you'll see how I layer all of those elements together. So I really enjoyed doing this layout. I mean, I don't know, sometimes when I just get messy and it's late at night and it's quiet and I'm trying to, you know, take the stress of the day off and just enjoy my art, it just flows so quickly. So I swear if it wasn't for some form of art or expressing myself creatively, I would, I would be mad. I would totally be mad madness of my life would set in. I have to express myself artistically. I literally scrapbook in some form, fashion, way, shape every day. There's something I do, whether it's printing pictures, um, looking online, listening to podcasts, actual scrapbooking. <laughs> it, there's got to be some element of of art. So I do start to build a cluster down at the bottom and that's where you'll see this frame go. I can't remember where that cut apart uh, came from on the bottom that says life is better with a smile. But I'm pretty sure it's just a scrap from my stash. So as I build those layers, I mean, I don't really do a lot else. I will add a Dear Lizzie bow from her new collection up at the picture of Alex. Um, what else do I do? I add some cork letters from Making Memories to spell out her name to the left of her and the Heidi Swap stamp for the date. And I use a couple of stickers and a uh, little flag that says life is beautiful and I want to say they came from Life Emporium Teresa Collins but I'm not even 100% sure so that kind of does it I mean you'll also see me do that uh, edging with the other stamp or not stamp punch that'll tie in the one that goes around Alex's picture so I'll let you just watch me finish this and um, how I layered everything up and I'll leave information at the end about my Facebook page my blog which I need to update badly I've had so much go on in my life lately the last six months has just been a whirlwind and I made a video explaining what was going on in my life and it was so heartbreaking I just couldn't do it I couldn't bring it to you <laughs> I decided it was better just to, and ironically, it would not upload, and so that was my sign not to share, <laughs> but it's just been crazy, and I've had some wonderful people reach out to me from this community, so I'm hoping that this summer's going to bring renewed good things to my life and, and happy times and happy moments. I really hope things don't get any worse, and, um, you know, I'm just taking it day by day <laughs> and thank goodness I get to express myself with my art and share with all of you lovely people so I hope you enjoy and I will talk to you later so ta-ta for now bye There's a crack in the wall where the heat gets out And the roof it leaks It 
Looks like hell in the wrong light She's a beauty and a beast Our love is an old house Our love is an old house Our love is an old house Well, it looked like sand but was solid ground So we swung our hammers We could lose it all if the forest burned But you can't build a life on fear You can't build a life on Oh.